It's June the 23rd, and this is your Pacific Palisades Real Estate Market Update. I'm James Respondek with Rodeo Realty. I've sold hundreds of homes to generations of Palisadians. And here is this week's important market activity. Let's start with a big one in the Upper Marquez Knolls. 1051 Vista Grande has just gone on the market for $27.5 million. This was done by Artie Tavongarian with Aria Construction. You know, he's the one that built the big one that sold in the Upper Riviera last year for $83 million. He's also done some other beautiful ones in Bel Air and all around town. In any case, what do you get for $27.5 million? Well, you get 11,000 square feet on a double lot. You get uh, it's a very, ma they're calling it masterful zen oasis, featuring seven bedrooms, 11 baths, a screening room, an epic gym, automated walls of glass, a wellness center, four car garage, and a large flash, uh, <laughs> flashy, large grassy yard uh, with an infinity pool. And all of this has the most expansive, beautiful ocean and city views. 27 and a half million, it's all yours. Next, another new construction just listed in Upper Riviera, 1635 Casale Road. And this is listed at $16.3 million. Okay, this is a 8,100 square foot house on about a 10,000 square foot lot. It's kind of, it's kind of an uphill lot and uh, I would not call it exactly a condo alternative, but the backyard is kind of tiny with a, with, a, with a skinny pool in the back, and it's three levels, so the lower level has the garage and some other rooms, gyms, and, and so on, and then you have the, the main room, uh, level, which has you know, all your living, and then the upper level has uh, your bedrooms, and then the top level is an amazing rooftop deck with a, in, incredible views. So that's uh, 1635 Casale Road. Next, just listed in Rustic Canyon, 42 Haldeman Road, listed at $9 million. And this is 4,400 square feet on a 21,500 square foot lot. It's a modern rustic farmhouse with, with beautiful, it's beautifully redone and remodeled with organic luxury features and it still has the original 1920s bar and drop down movie screen. You remember that this is the um, Uplifters Ranch which was kind of like where the, the elite kind of LA country club kind of bad boys would go and hide out and, and you know they would, they would get up to some mischief there. Uplifters Ranch, that was in the early 1900s. Next, just listed in the Alphabet Streets, 1105 Charmaker's Place, a 2020 built modern farmhouse. What I love about this is that this Charmaker's Place is just, it's a little street that's tucked right behind the Caruso Village, and, but it's still discreet enough so that you feel private. So it's, it's kind of a cool spot. Next, just listed in the Highlands, 1661 Cumbre Verde. Ooh, that's a devilish number. So, listed at $5.4 million, a 1988 Mediterranean, mostly redone, and it has a little bit of a glam um, finish to it, so it's a little unpalisadian, but it's nice to see something a little different. And what do you get? 6,500 square feet on a 15,000 square foot lot. Big pool in the back, so you get a lot for your money in the Highlands. Next, just listed in the Castellamar Mesa. That's the upper shelf part of the Mesa, not the forward bluffs end of it. And it's more like Sunset Mesa in a sense, but it's still the Palisades. 275 North Montegrigio, and it's listed at $5,375,000. 2,800 square feet on a 5,200 square foot lot, totally redone. And it's at the very, almost at the very end of Monte Grigio, so it's kind of a nice private little cul-de-sac feel there. Next, just listed in Rustic Canyon, 630 High Tree Road. Now, this is a very original, mid-century, uh, 2,700 square footer on a 11,000 square foot lot. Needs a total redo. It's got strong uh, living spaces, average size bedrooms, of, you know, common for this period of house. The house was built in 1965, 
and the house sits back on the lot so you don't have a lot of backyard and it does back up to the park which is a plus or minus depending how you kind of view that and that is listed at 5.3 million next just listed in sunset mesa 18426 wakecrest drive it's a mid-century redo uh, it was sold last year. The previous owner was an art gallery owner and he did a really nice job of restoring it into a, a real mid-century feel. This is listed at 3.8 million. It is 1,800 square feet on a 6,300 square foot lot. Really fabulous views. So let's go to some just solds. 16749 Marquez Terrace. Uh, in the lower Marquez Knolls, just sold for six million six hundred and eighteen thousand, uh, and had zero days on market, so it's kind of an off-market sale, really. But they did put it in the MLS, and it's fifty-four hundred square feet on a seventy-two hundred square foot lot. It's got a pool, it's got a rooftop deck, and it's kind of a two thousand thirteen um, coastal traditional, I would call it, with six bedrooms. Pretty good value. Next, just sold 1026 Iliff Street in the Alphabet Streets, sold for a million over the asking. So I wonder how long that's going to keep going for. We'll find out. So this is 4,000 square feet on a 6,500 square foot lot. And this is a 2011 built Clark Remington style. Days on market, one. So maybe that was kind of an off-market sale too. Sold in the Alphabet Streets. 935 Galloway Street. Oh yeah, I sold the house across the street from this for my, one of my celebrity clients. Five bedroom house sold for uh, 5,800,000 and that was 300 over the ask. And that was a 5,200 square foot lot. Amazing. Just sold on uh, in the uh, El Medio, I'm sorry, in the Village Bluff, 732 Via de La Paz. This sold 300 over ask uh, for 5.6 million, and it's a 1988 build, and I think it was a Paul Zaylor because he did a lot of those houses in that stretch and right in that period. It's had some redos. It's 50, uh, sorry, 4,300 square feet on a 7,500 square foot lot. Had a pool, and that sold again for 5.6, 300 over ask. And just sold in the El Medio Bluffs, off-market sale, uh, 16009 Northfield. This was a cute little 1,300 square footer on a 4,200 square foot lot sold for two and a half million dollars. I hope this information has been helpful. And if you're looking to find the perfect property or sell your property in this still hot market, call me. I would love to help. And I'll see you next week.